Alrighty guys, we're here for the final bad ending for Ashley here. And we should see some new things happening. Uh, I'm starting off here. We did this last time for the neutral end, so I won't read through this again. But that's where we will begin. And we'll hurry on through until she gets jumped. Oops. No, don't hug Peggy. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't hug Peggy. Don't help anybody either while you're at it. And joke about Star Wars and things. Okay. Jump in. New thing. Tell Ashley it's a con. I can't wait to see what this is. Ashley, they're trying to mug you. Or, or something like that. What? She gazed in astonishment at the men, then rounded on me. How dare you, Flynn! That's just... that's just mean! Just because they're foreigners and they look big and scary doesn't mean that they're criminals! You need to be more accepting of people! Really, I expected much better of you! She turned to the men, who were staring at her in awed silence. I'm sorry that he insulted you. I'm sure this happens a lot, and it's not fair to you at all. I'm certain you're very kind men. A troubled look crossed the big one's face, and I glared at him. However, I really do need to be going. I'm late for work. I hope you find what you were looking for. Come on, Flynn, let's go. Once again, I'm really sorry. The men were so surprised, they just let us go. Or else... Maybe they really weren't so threatening after all. It took a few seconds for me to realize we were heading in the direction of the hostel. Wait, I need to get tomatoes for the pub kitchen. Oh, is that what you were up to? Thanks for reminding me of where I needed to be. At least something good came of your rudeness. They were legitimately trying to mug you. That guy asked me for money in exchange for leaving us alone. No one asked you for anything, Flynn. No one asked you to get involved at all. You're just jumping to conclusions because you're... I gave her a look, daring her to finish that sentence. Well, anyways. That's what I thought. Dang, Flynn, stone cold. Wow. I've got to get going, and it sounds like you do too. I'll see you back at the pub. Dang! Um, I'm going to save here. Just in case. I kind of want to do Nevermind just to see what that's all about. I might be wrong <laughs> about this cutting off stuff with Ashley after all. Who knows? I'll say Nevermind. It's not up to me how she lives her life. Maybe she wants to get back together with Brendan. It's not my business. Okay. I will see. If it doesn't activate the thing, then we know for sure. Okay. It's not to... Yeah, okay. So that does cut you off. I needed to know for science sake. Alright. It's important, girl. We need to talk. Yeah, okay. So we still have to agree. Because we have to go out with her. But then we have to ignore her forevermore. <laughs> to get her bad ending. Probably. As well as just being terrible to everyone else. <laughs> Basically. That seems to help contribute to the bad endings anyway, I find. Um, we can go hang out with Peggy and Danny, because we've done that already this route. Alright, different choice. Who else have you dated? I was still thrown by the Jihyo revelation. Uh, not to be rude or anything, but... You haven't dated anyone else in the hostel, have you? Are you asking if I'm cheating on you? Of course not! I know you're not dating anyone else now. I trust you, absolutely. I was just... surprised. 
about Jihyo. And I did just say I was greedy and wanted everyone to want me. I understand. No one else in the hostel, no. That's all I wanted to know. Of course, there were other people earlier in her life. She's a gorgeous girl. But they're not here now, and I am. You know you're enough for me, right? Okay. I think we're back around. So, let's zip on through to this bad ending. <sighs> as much as it pains me, meh, he sidesteps it. And we're gonna splash you guys. Okay, nothing changed there. Danny just still goes crazy on us. It sucked, James. Whoa. I forgot how quickly this started. Okay. Looks like this is gonna be basically the same. Hey. I jolted with surprise. Ashley stood in my doorway, a hand on her hip. I hastily shoved my underwear out of sight and stood up. I was in the middle of doing laundry, packing really, and we hadn't spoken in weeks. What did she want now? You're leaving tomorrow, right? Oh, you came to say goodbye. I don't have anything else to say to you. Ouch. In spite of myself, I winced and Ashley looked away. I thought I should come by and say something. In the end, it was you who taught me how to protect myself, even if it was because... well... Ashley, I'm innocent. I swear I'm innocent. And everyone else has forgiven me by now, why... Why can't you, I wanted to add, but Ashley was already glaring at me. Not that you have to. I'm not going to. I don't care anymore anyways. Wouldn't not forgiving me indicate otherwise? I wasn't used to biting my tongue so much, but I was sure saying these things would only make it worse. I couldn't talk to her anymore. Any trust between us was clearly gone and there was nothing I could do. Regardless of how things went between us, I still considered you a friend and had a good time with you before we went bad. A friend? This time I couldn't keep it in. I was hurt. I thought we were something more than that. Clearly we weren't. Ashley was winter in New York cold. It wasn't like her and it made me feel uncomfortable. All of the things I'd been rehearsing in my head since that night, all of the things I wanted to say and explain and do died in my thoughts. I just wanted her to leave. Well, goodbye then. I've got to get back to packing. Just like that? Please just go. She stared at me for a few moments. It occurred to me that despite how cold she was being, she still came to my room to say goodbye. There must have been something she wanted. Something... Goodbye. She left. I returned to my underwear, folding them up and setting something aside for tomorrow morning. That was that. It was over. I had my closure, if ever I wanted it. Oh, bye, Brenda. <laughs> I don't want to see you, man. I didn't want to see Ashley. What makes you think I want to see you? Okay, so aside from that little change with the, uh, the guys who were just absolutely stunned, <laughs> not much difference. But you know what? Ashley was the most different out of all the routes we've done so far as Flynn, so... Claps for her for that, at the very least. But now we're done, again, with England Exchange. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this. Now it's back to Kazue Soma's route. What a sweet summon boy he is. So I'm looking forward to getting back. And in no small part, I'm sure nobody's surprised by. Because my boy, my sweet boy, that my heart belongs to, Miki, is coming back. I can't wait to see him in all his Edo Blossom's glory. So, yeah. I hope I'll see you over there, guys. Thanks again for joining me, and until next time, I will see you later.